political government run and get rid of it. plan, if you call it that, <laughs> would lead to colossal tax increases, increases like you've never seen before, and take away private coverage from over 180 million Americans. And we have some great private coverage, and we've initiated some incredible plans, like the new cooperative plan, where you get better insurance at Obamacare for a fraction of the cost. But perhaps nothing is more extreme than the Democrats' plan to completely take over American energy and completely destroy America's economy through their new $100 trillion Green New Deal. Under the Green New Deal, which somebody described as a high school term paper written by a poor student. <laughs> oh my God. It, it's, so, it's so bad, but I don't, I'll, I'll be honest with you folks. I said, you know, it's Saturday morning. I said, Max, should we do a little more, like, spend time? He said, yeah, would you do that? With, by the way, everybody okay? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I know one thing, if Mark Levin gets up and leaves, I'll finish very quickly. Then I can, but I haven't seen anyone leaving. Nobody's left. I watch those doors. Because a lot of times, a lot of times, well, one time the press said, people left. Yeah, you know where they went to? The bathroom. And then they went. They showed two empty seats in the stadium of 19,000. They showed two empty seats. The people left right in front of me. I said, oh man, maybe this is a good job. I'm doing. Then they came back. They went to the bathroom. <laughs> and a certain fake news deal showed a picture on the front page of these two. They said, Trump had empty seats. We never had empty seats. The Green New Deal would completely abolish the American oil, natural gas, coal, and nuclear power industries, of which we're now the leader in the world. We're the biggest now in the world because the green energy happened over the last few years, by the way. And we're trying to speed up pipelines in Texas, which would have taken 15 years. We think we're almost very close to getting them approved. When that happens, we'll go uh, probably another 30 to 40 percent. We need pipeline approval. We're going to have it very quickly. It would have taken, it was going to be a 14 to 15 year process. That's crazy. We should have it done. We'll pick up 30 to 40 percent. Their plan would remove every gas-powered car from American roads. Oh, that's not so that's ridiculous. That's awful. That's ridiculous. They want you to have one car instead of two. And it should be electric. Okay? They'll tell people, no more cars. No more cars. I think the auto industry is not going to do too well under this plan. What do you think about this? How's this? Will the auto industry be good? I don't think so. It's not looking good. I think maybe, uh, maybe you're going to see some bad stock prices if that passes. It would end air travel. And you'll get on a train, don't worry about it. It's just have to crash across up about 95% of the world. And it would force the destruction or renovation of virtually every existing structure in the United States. New York City would have to rip down buildings and rebuild them again. I don't think so. This is the craziest place. And yet I see senators that are there for 20 years. They're running for president. See, I don't have one. <laughs> I don't have one. So I see these white hairs, long time senators, standing behind this young woman. And she's ranting and raving at the woman. And these senators, these senators, yes, I agree with this. Yes. The crazy female senator from the state of Ohio. The state of Hawaii. Nutty. Right? Job. She's like, she's like a crazy person. What she said about men was so bad. Yeah. What she said about men was yes. so bad. But she's standing in the hallway. And she didn't know too much about the bed because she's, you know, she can't understand that. <laughs> Which probably makes her smart, actually. Now this is the senator from Hawaii. And they're saying to her, what do you think? You're going to get to work. Well, 
I don't know how people are going to get to Hawaii, but I'm in favor of it. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care.